So welcome to another week of the AKB48 Group News of the Week. Last week I was not able to make it thanks to 46 Hour TV keeping me up all night. So that's the reason why there wasn't one last week. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you'll be able to see all the posts that I did about it. I was live tweeting with it. So if you want a recap of all of that, you can go ahead and check out my Twitter. I was asleep for like an hour of it. Unfortunately, because I thought it was a certain time and then my alarm didn't go off. Anyway, you can go to my Twitter and check out all this stuff. But onto this week, we're going to talk about two different weeks that happened with 48 and 46. And if this is your first time watching, you can see on the top right of the screen what section you are on, whether it's 48, graduated, or 46. This time we have plenty of every section, so just look forward to each section. Let's start off with AKB48. Releasing more information about their So Sankyo and the fact that it's going to be a world So Sankyo. Which means that you can vote from your favorite groups that are outside of Japan, which include. This is where it gets complicated. We got B and K and TPE. Hmm, isn't there one missing? Well, there is one missing, but I'll talk about that later. Let's continue on with this topic. There's gonna to be 20 new places that are added to this. Spot. So now it will be a so thank you out of 100. And some interesting notes about this is that Yokoyama Yui wants to get top 3 and Miru wants to get number 1. So it's pretty interesting to see exactly how this will happen. And I mean, if NMB fans all like forget everyone else and just go towards Miru, this might happen. But that's only if every single fan <laughs> votes for her. There might be some ways to get around it. Again, this so thank you should be interesting to see who wins it. Since we don't have the top Mayu, we don't have Reno, we don't have all the other members who are top. It's really a guessing game and it's really interesting and I feel like in a long time So Thank You is actually really really interesting in terms of results, not like last year's catastrophe. The voting period for this where you can actually submit your votes is the 29th of May all the way to the 15th of June. So be sure to submit your votes for your favorite members who you want to see rank. And as always they have those first day results. So you go ahead and look forward to those on the 30th of May and see if some NGT member gets like all the way number one again. Some people like to play the game of put your votes on day one, that way the member you like can be seen more, that way more people vote for them. Or some people like the route of, hey, don't vote for day one, let's see the results and then go all in, that way until thank you, it could be a big surprise, it's up to you. Now I mentioned about the overseas members and you might have noticed I missed one of the groups. And that is JKT. They actually won't participate in this because it's very, very close to a holiday. This is a holiday where it's where people spend time with their family. It is called the Lebron Day of Ramadan, uh, which is 13th to 19th. So it seems like it's a week long. And since this being a big holiday, this is the reason why they actually won't do it. I don't really blame management for this. They probably didn't know, although they should have probably coordinated with them beforehand. I feel like this might have been like a last minute thing, they're like, oh let's just add everyone else. And then the JKT's like, uh, wait, no, not on this day? <laughs> so, it's probably management didn't know anything about the holiday, I mean, me, American, of course didn't know about the holiday of other countries. So I don't really put complete blame, although there should have been some pre-production work done way ahead of time. So without JKT being there, it is only members from TPE and BNK. But where's MNL? <laughs> it's 5 members from TPE and 10 members from BNK. That means there's 15 members that are going to apply. Very worldly I see there. <laughs> but then again, most of those members are probably not going to rank anyway. So I can see why it's so few of them. Next up, let's talk about the 52nd single that will come out, and this will be the one where you have to vote. And it, again, the management probably wants the member who wants to be pushed the most on this one. And that is none other than Ogori Yui, you guessed it, that's who it is. This is her first time as center, and we also have different members who are also in this. We have Yabuki Nako, Fukuoka Seina, and Yamauchi Mizuki who will be there for the very first time. So super exciting for them for sure. So look forward to that when it comes out and when that comes out you can start voting already. So really pick this up to vote for your favorite member. Time to go ahead and go find all those quarters in your couches. Next up we're going to talk about two different NGT music videos that just came out. 
first one is going to be one that I actually really like and it's called Whatcha Gonna Do. Uh, it reminds me of a different song in English. Um, I won't sing it because of copyright issues. But you know, them bad boys are gonna do a lot of... I don't know where I'm going with that. But I have to say, this song is actually really good. I actually really like the song. And the music video, I feel like, is very planned out. And really does this song justice. I mean, the different color palettes there are in different scenes for different members, like with Mahahon and with the train scene and everything, like everything being the same color, but yet the members being different colors is really interesting. And I mean, more Gatane and Mahahon is always good, right? Yeah, well, this actually is really good, and I really want to see the full music video for this. And it's really interesting how they went for the more mature look, as the director said, with the outfits they're wearing, and even that club scene with Mahahon in it. I feel like they definitely are hitting that area where they wanted to, especially with this unit being more of the older members being over 20. So look forward to this on the Type C. If you really like the song, you go ahead and buy that version. And next up is the main single for the new NGT song. The song doesn't bother me that much, honestly. Like, I won't say it's a bad song, but I won't say it's a great song. But the music video, on the other hand, not a fan of the directing at all in this one. This one feels a little bit too much to the edge of like, all right, we decided what to do, that didn't work out, let's improv on the day of the shoot. And honestly, it does distract from the song. If I had to sing something from the song, I couldn't even start because I don't really remember because the music video distracted so much. It's like the cameramen were too lazy to carry the camera on their shoulders or in front of them where they just like held it to the side of them and just ran with the members. This being one of the main songs doesn't really leave a good taste in my mouth. I mean, especially since the other music video I talked about was really, really good and the song was really good, that one should have been the main single. So let me know what you guys think down below about the song and the music video in general. See if it's your taste of voyeuristic appeal or not. Still talking about NGT48, they will be at the Bangkok Comic Con for the Tokyo Idol Festival that's happening in it. That's pretty interesting. You wouldn't see that here in the United States. But that happens the 27th to the 29th of April, and you can go ahead and see NGT there, so that should be pretty interesting for those of you living there. Be sure to check out their website to know more information about this. But next we're going to more individual members, starting off with NMB48 members Yoshia, Akari, and Sayane. I don't know why I said her nickname instead of her full name. But they were in a new commercial for Townwork, and honestly, I recommend you guys watch this one. I'll give a brief little synopsis of what happens, but this one is definitely worth checking out. It's like, if you like cute girls that are dancing and singing and acting, then this is right up your alley. So really, watch that down below. So next up is with NMB48 member, Shiroma Miru, who's in a commercial for... It looked like Kaupiko, but it says it's for the Gilko Japan. That's what the channel is, so it might be like a collaboration kind of thing. But honestly, this is like one of those commercials you would see like on a weird Japanese commercials compilation list. Because we have the main guy who's a little bit off, and then we have a bunch of kids being the interviewers, and then the background's like a super strong color. They're wearing outfits, they dance at the end. It's one to watch. It's interesting, I'll say that. And next up we have a commercial for Suntoro, which is interesting because it has Yokoyama Yui and XSDN member Noro Kayo. And as well as many other comedians in there, some classic comedians. And it's really interesting to see all these people mixed together and it's sort of supposed to give that sort of feel to it as they're all sitting around talking about their own lives and drinking beers along with it. And then at the end they come pie and there's like seven different versions of the commercial. So you can go ahead and enjoy those in the link below. And next up is Iriyama Ana who's cast in the brand new movie. Even though the news about her going to Mexico just broke out a couple weeks ago, she's announced in a movie recently and that movie comes out in October. Now of course movies do get a lot of post-production time and I'm guessing she filmed this like maybe a month ago, finished filming it and now it's in post-production and that's why there's a bunch of promotional stuff coming out for it. That's my best guess because post-production does take a long time. But this movie is called Ai Ai Gasa and it's taken from a stage play. So if you're interested in Iriyama Ana or that stage play, then you can go in and check it out in October. I wonder if she'll make a PR appearance for that even though she's in Mexico. 
Next up is Lemon, you know, the fresh Lemon, who is going to release a photo book. Now, there isn't a whole bunch of news, she just actually just put it on Twitter and is even asking for some help now. <laughs> Uh, but what we do know is that it will come in May, so look forward to that. Hopefully it's a little bit more fashionable, a little bit more towards her adult side than it is the cutie side. That way I see more appeal in it for myself. And next up we have Fuko's photo book that actually has a cover now and actually I think just came out today. So that should be coming in the mail for me. So look forward to that photo book critique, but actually the cover has been released. Nothing too impressive honestly kind of like the same as I've seen before. And now on to a little bit more Saturn news, but since we're transitioning to the graduated section, I thought this would be a good place to put it. We have Kojima Natsuki who is going to graduate. She announced it during a theater performance on the 19th of March and people have seen this outcome after what happened with this whole scandal thing, but I don't really know what to think of it yet. I hope to hear some of your opinions on it down below. I mean, she's probably getting ready to go meet her hubby, right? <laughs> and last bit of news we have with AKB is Kita Hararia, who is actually going to hold her last theater performance. It will be the 18th of April at the NGT Theater. So good luck getting tickets and go ahead and watch that live when it comes out. Now we go into graduate members. How about we start off with a kawaii Rina power section where we will talk quite a bit about her because she has been up to a lot of stuff. First of all, she's cast in a movie called Sensei Kunshu. This is based on a shoujo manga and she will play a supporting character for this. And it will release August 1st. From the looks of it, this shoujo manga was actually pretty popular. So maybe this will get more attention for her. And another thing that she was in is actually in a music video where she guest starred in. It's one of those like story music videos that's 13 minutes long, so I didn't watch it. Good luck watching it, link for that is down below. She's also the assistant MC for a show called A Studio, which is actually like a talk show. There's been other really good hosts that have been there, like Honda Tsubasa. So it is a good place for her, for sure. And next up is a commercial with Biore, where she introduces facial wipes to people who look like they're coming into a restaurant and I guess they want to remove the grease and sweats off of their face. And it's a very cute one, especially with the pose she does at the end, so watch it for that. And she's yet in another commercial. This time it's for cold sores and a medicine for it, or at least I think it's like a cover-up. And the reason for this in the commercial is because she wants to eat some delicious meat. So go ahead and watch it for that. The product is called, um, what is it called? Traful Direct. Finally done with Koerina. Now let's move on to uh, Watanabe Mayu. Yeah, that's a follow off, right? She'll be in the musical called City of Angels, which will actually be on the new National Theater in Tokyo. That will be available from the 1st to 17th of September, so keep an eye out for that if you are going during that time. And final bit is actually something really interesting. We have X member Urano Kazumi who actually quit her agency in order to do stuff with more online presence. This is her starting a website called uranocindy.net and starting a channel called C Channel, which I imagine is on YouTube. I don't know much about that one, but what she linked in her blog, it seems like it might be a little bit more makeup focused. But the website is actually pretty interesting because it's actually for AKB fans. It seems like it's news compilation slash reports and different stuff in that nature. So I wonder how she sees that as profitable. It'd be really interesting to see exactly where this website goes and if it could become a resource for other people. And I mean, if you're looking for like a video host or something for the English side, if you want to make that, you know, make it more interesting towards international people, I mean, I, I think I know of someone. It starts with Josh, ends with Box. And that does it for the graduated section. Let's go to 46, starting off with Nogizaka and their 20th single, actually track list. Of course, we have the first song, which is Synchronicity, which is the main name of the Nogizaka 46 single. But then next, we have Against. That's what the song is called. It's called Against, and this will be first gen. If I say first gen already, you can kind of get the vibe what the rest of the songs are going to include. In type A, we get an Ikuta, Misa, and Reika combo that is actually going to sing Kumono Nareba. 
And in type B, we get an undersong by the title of Atarashi Sekai. And for type C, we get second gen with Scout Man. I wonder what that's gonna sound like. Maybe like Scat Man, but except with a folky vibe. <laughs> then we have third gen who's in type D, who's gonna sing the song Toko Toki Meki Meki. <laughs> Try to say that five times fast. And in the regular version, we have a combination of Momoko, Kubo, Mizuki, and Yoda, who are actually the third gens that are in the Senbatsu. So it's pretty interesting that they get their own song along with a third gen song. And the title for this song is Kotodama Ho. And unfortunately, there's no new Sayuringo Gundam song. They kind of previewed it in 46 hour, but I guess it isn't coming out in this single. I mean, the song sounded pretty good. And I was looking forward to it in this single, but I guess it's not meant to be. Maybe it's like an exclusive live song, which would be kind of weird. But speaking of music and singles and albums and that nature, we have Hiragana Kiyakizaka, who, as we remember, is going to release an album, but we finally have a date on that. The date for that is the 23rd of May. Still no title for this. I'm really curious to see what the songs will be since Hiragana does not have a big song selection. There'll probably be a lot of new songs in this. But speaking of Hiragana Kiyakizaka, we have them in a stage play. So it seems like they're going to be a little bit towards acting now. They have the variety game down, they have dancing down. So maybe they needed more acting in this. This will be for the stage play called Ayumi. And it will be at the AIIA 2.5 Tokyo Theater. Didn't have to look at that. And this will be from the 20th of April all the way to the 6th of May. I think it's around Golden Week or if not on Golden Week. But that's not the only Hiragana Kiyakizaka news. Actually, we will get two new shows, one of them being Keia Bingo 4, where it will be just about them, which will be called Hiragana Kiyakita Nani. And they will also get their own show, dedicated time slots, which is called Hiragana Oshi with the MC of, you guess it, Tus. It is Audrey. So Hiragana Oshi is going to start real soon on the 8th of April and on the 16th we have the Kea Bingo section which is going to air. So there will be a lot of time where it will be a lot of Hiragana and Kiyakizaka is going to have a big hour slot with Hiragana Oshi coming after Kiyaki Tekakenai. So plenty to learn from of Hiragana that's coming up so should be really exciting. You get to see their variety game really strong and especially with Audrey as host, I imagine that coming out even more. Next up, if you're in Japan or know someone who is able to proxy, then you'll be able to get some third gen Mobame. They started already emailing stuff out during 46 hour. I still feel like they need an app, although if they get an app, I'll be poor. <laughs> and next up we have Ikumarina who's in a commercial for Yahoo Japan and it's about getting jobs after you graduate, so it's pretty well considered that Yahoo Japan would get her since she announced her graduation. Very good play on their part. So go ahead and check this out. She's wearing a business suit and everything down in the link below. But speaking of Iko Marina, we actually have a set confirmed date when her final concert will happen. And it's going to happen at Budokan on the 22nd of April. So it's very close. It's less than a month away. So go ahead. I think they're doing raffles for the ticket right now. So try your luck on that. And that was announced during 46 hour TV, but something else that got announced is Ki-chan is finally coming back. She appeared on there and she said, hey, I'm gonna start coming back, but it's gonna be slowly I'll start coming back. I won't come like right away. Hopefully by the next single, she will be right back to her old self and in Senbatsu again, since I think personally she's a really strong member. Now let's go into something which may surprise you guys. Etomisa graduation from her radio show as assistant MC. I know, when I read that too, I was like, Etomisa graduation, what's going on? But it seems like she will be leaving her assistant MC job, which she had for a while now. So maybe this will leave more opportunity for her to do other work, but that's not the only person who graduated from something. Shinichi Mai has actually graduated from her OL job. If you remember from Nogizaka Under Construction, she actually had another job where she was an office lady but she has now left that job and now will fully dedicate herself to Nogizaka, which shows that age didn't really play a big factor in this because if it was age, she would have quit Nogizaka and stuck with the office lady job. But now it seems like she will be sticking with Nogizaka even at her age, 
which is really good to see for the future of Nogizaka and the longevity of the members. Again, not the only graduation, we have Shirashi Mai, who's graduating once again. Uh, she was graduating from Alarm, from Ray, and now it'll be from her regular TV show, which is called Umazu Kingdom. I, I didn't have to look at that. <laughs> but with this, it seems like Matsumura Sayuri will take over her position, and people are thinking, you know, she's leaving a lot of regular stuff. What is going to happen? But do not fret. I feel like she might be dedicating herself more to her center role. And also, she has other gigs coming up. Like, she's going to be in a TV drama soon. That drama is called Yare Takamo Inkai. And that will actually be airing from the 22nd of April to the 24th. So it seems like it's going to be a shorter series. It won't be like a 24 or a 12 episode series, but this still is work. Maybe she wants to do more of the acting thing after all, but she still is modeling, especially with her being on the cover of a brand new magazine that is going to come out. The name of this is called Lista, and this is the actual first issue of this magazine, so maybe she has something to do with this magazine, that's why she's in it, or maybe they just paid her a lot of money. <laughs> but if she does have something to do with it, then it should be really impressive. Next up, two quick ones, Hoshino Minami cover revealed and Nisha no Nanase cover revealed. Look at these. Hoshino Minami, there's two covers. Here's the first one. Mm seems kind of weird, seems a little bit too much leaning to one side if you know what I mean. Blue one looks a little bit boring in my opinion. But the Nishino Nana says, look at these three covers. These three covers are great. I wish I could get them all. Uh, Amazon's probably my least favorite, but still pretty good. And then we have the Sevenet, which is my personal favorite, and I wish I could get this one. So yeah, that's been the news for this week. Go ahead and subscribe. Leave your comments down below, like the video, really appreciate you guys doing that, and share it so more people can see it and more people can come and enjoy along with you. That's all for this week. Again, you can go ahead and subscribe, check out the podcast, go check out my Patreon, and as I say every single week, thank you all for watching.